G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And in today's video, I want to introduce you to this guy here, the Centralian Knobtailed Gecko. So stick around, guys. So Australia's home to about 150 species of gecko. And out of all of those, this guy here, the Centralian Rough Knobtailed Gecko, is by far the biggest when it comes to term of mass. Now, these guys can grow up to 13 centimetres long and weigh 50 grams which is a pretty big gecko considering their tails are less than a centimetre long. It's all body. These guys are little bulldogs. Interestingly, the tiny tail that these guys have presents a bit of a mystery to scientists. It's so small that it can't actually hold any relevant fat stores that might help them through winter out in the central Australian desert. But what they do do with it is actually wiggle it when either they're aggravated, somebody disturbs them, and they've also been observed in captivity wiggling their little tail when they're stalking up on prey. Some people believe this might be something like caudal luring to attract prey, but it doesn't really seem to make sense considering it's behind them when they're sneaking up on an insect. Being the biggest gecko in Australia, these guys feed on a huge variety of insects. If it crawls across the desert and it fits in their mouth, they're going to eat it. But these guys actually also get big enough that a part of their diet is made up of smaller geckos and skinks. So these guys even eat other lizards. Now, they can get a lot bigger than what this fella here is. Females grow a lot bigger than males in case with geckos. So this guy here is about as big as a boy's gonna get, but a girl would be much, much larger. One thing about living out in the desert, of course, is there's virtually no water. And while in captivity, these guys have been observed drinking from a water bowl, it's not like there's a lot of standing water out in the desert. Out in the bush, these guys are getting a lot of their moisture from the prey that they eat, the insects and all the little lizards that they're collecting and, and eating as they crawl around the bush at night time. But they'll also actually lick droplets of water if ever there's a mist or a tiny little drizzle off their own body and off the surrounding environment, rocks and vegetation, and that's how they get a drink. One thing that some people are surprised to hear about with these guys is that they're completely terrestrial. People seem to imagine that all geckos around the world have these sticky pads and can climb up glass walls. But a lot of geckos in Australia, like this fella here, actually have clawed toes. There's not a lot of things to climb out where he lives, so here's a completely ground-dwelling gecko. While this guy's certainly a voracious predator in his own right, he's certainly not the biggest dog out there in the bush, and there is a lot of things that would like to eat this guy. When he encounters a predator, what he'll do is he'll stand on his tippy toes, he'll make himself look as big and scary as he can, wiggle his little tail and hiss. His way of saying, don't eat me, I'm a big mean gecko. At the end of the day, the coolest thing about this guy, I think, is his patterns and colours. He looks really amazing. And I'm really lucky to get to film with him today, because he actually belongs to another wildlife demonstrator called Animals Anonymous. So if you'd like to know more about this guy, check them out on Facebook. But other than that, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook. And if you want to become involved with the good wildlife and help our videos get better and better, think about supporting us on Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash wicked wildlife. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, be nice to wildlife. Have a good one and take care.